Moses got a hold of himself. Hello everyone, this is Al Red Sox Fan coming to you from Al Red Sox Fan YouTube station and we're going to bring you another classic using Action PC Football. It's going to be the 1958 Baltimore Colts and a Johnny Unitas 10 years younger and a starting quarterback against the 1968 New York Jets led by Joe Willie Namath. As Johnny Unitas looks to crash Broadway Joe's show at Shea Stadium. The Colts won the NFL championship in 1958. And the greatest game ever played. As they defeated the New York Jets in overtime. Uh, the Giants, excuse me, defeated Frank Gifford and the New York Giants in overtime. I'm sorry. And the Colts finished 9-3 and with an NFL championship in 1958. The New York Jets would win Super Bowl three in a shocker when they defeated the heavily favored 13-1 Baltimore Colts, then led by Earl Morrill. John Unitas would come in the game off the bench. But what if the 1958 Baltimore Colts faced the 1968 New York Jets? I'll, I will be playing as both offenses. The computer will control both defenses. So let's see what this exhibition will bring, besides a lot of fun watching it. All right, let's get to the game at Shea Stadium. The running backs for Baltimore, Alan Amici and Dupree. Then the wideouts are Barry and Moore. The tight end is Mutchler. The quarterback, Johnny U, Johnny Unitas. The man with the crew cut and the high top cleats. Tackles, Parker and Priest. Guards, Spiny and Sunday. The center is Nutter. For the New York Jets of 1968. Running back, Snell and Boozer. Wideouts, Sauer and Maynard. Tight end, Lamans. Quarterback, Joe Namath. Joe Willie Namath. Broadway Joe. Tackles, Hill and Walton. Guards, Herman and Calamini. Center is Schmidt. For the Baltimore defense, they play a 4-3. Defensive ends, Joyce and Gino Marchetti. Defensive tackles, Big Daddy Limpscomb and Kraus. The outside linebackers, Pellington and Sanford. The middle linebacker, Samansky. The defensive backs for the Baltimore Colts of 1958, Tasfest, Davis, Nelson, and Brown. Tassif, excuse me. Now on to the New York Jets defense of 1968. The defensive ends in their 4-3, Philbin and McAdams. Defensive tackles, Elliott and Rochester. The outside linebackers, Grantham. And Baker, middle linebacker Atkinson. Defensive backs, Sample, Beverly, Baird, and Hudson. We have What's Blazing in Sports in the chat. How are you, my friend? Hope all is well. Remember to check out What's Blazing in Sports. Great boxing channel when it comes to commentary, opinions, and news. That's What's Blazing in Sports with T-Dub. I'm 
So the Jets have won the kickoff and elect to receive. Deep for the New York Jets is Christie. The short men are Turner and Snell. As we are playing at Shea Stadium, the 1958 Baltimore Colts versus the 1968 New York Jets. Here's the kickoff. And here comes the return. Return of 20 by Christie. Price around the stop. So Joe Namath will bring out the New York Jets and the offense. And they'll start first and 10 at their own 30. Again, Namath under center. Running back Snell and Boozer. Wide out. Wide out. Sauer and Maynard. Tight end Lamans. What's blazing in sports says, I'm good. Looking forward to you calling another great game. Well, thank you very much, my friend. Again, I will be calling both offenses as I did with the 2007 Patriots versus the 1972 Miami Dolphins. That's up on the channel now if you'd like to check that out. That was a fun game to call. All right, split backfield. And we're going to go to Snell. Trap right to Matt Snell. And Snell picks up two tough yards brought down by Kraus. Ray Kraus on the big hit. Baltimore was in a 4-3 basic tight man. One blitzer. They're doubling Don Maynard. So it's second and eight. Going to go play action pass. Going to look for Pete LeMans. Uh, actually. On the short slant. Play action pass. Name is back to pass. He fires. Hits LeMans over the middle. A gain of 20. The play action pass froze the linebackers just long enough. And it is first and 10 on the Baltimore 48. The Jets have invaded Colt territory on their second play from scrimmage. They're going to call Emerson Boozer's number now. Off tackle right with Emerson Boozer. And Boozer grinds for two yards. And Boozer's shaking up and he's leaving. Going to the sideline for about a play. Tackle by Tassif. Carl Tassif on the big hit. They were keying Matt Snell. So it brings up second and eight. Screen to Matt Snell. Name is back to pass. Screen set up. Instead, it's blocked. Big Daddy Lipskin sends that ball back into Joe Namath's face. Pressure applied by Don Joyce. So Big Daddy Gene Lipskin knocks the ball right back into Joe Willie's face. Third and eight. Ball on the Baltimore 46. Short and quick. Short and quick to Sauer. Name it back to pass. Release is incomplete. Holding. Offense. Flag on the play. Ten yard Holding penalty. on the offense. And it's on Schmidt. That penalty will be declined. The Jets will be forced to punt. So on fourth and eight, the Jets will punt from the Baltimore 46. And out comes Curly Johnson. And he'll try to sideline punt it because a deep punt is 50 yards. That's going to put it in the end zone. Tassif is deep for the Colts. Sideline punt. Here comes the return. Here comes Tassif. Breaks a tackle. Gets out to the 20. A return of 11 brought down by Richards on the 38-yard punt. Here comes Johnny Unitas, the man with the crew cut and the high top cleats. So Unitas under center, Alan Amici, and L.G. Dupree, the backs, Lenny Moore, and Raymond Berry, the wideouts. The tight end is Jim Mutchler. So Johnny Unitas comes out under center, split backfield. Alan Amici on the dive. Amici right up the gut, and that looks like a three-yard gain. It is. He's brought down by Philbin. So, second and seven. 
And they're going to go Alan Amici up the gut again. And they give it to Amici one more time. He struggles for two more yards. Brought down by John Elliott. That's Elliott's first tackle. So it brings up a very manageable third and five from the Baltimore 24. Let's see what uh, Lenny Moore can do here. Short slant to Lenny Moore. United's back to pass. And he hits Moore. That's a big gainer. Moore sees a lot of green in front of him. He's finally dragged down from behind by number 42, Beverly. Oh, Randy Beverly just saved a touchdown as Johnny Unitas hits Lenny Moore in stride on the short slant. A gain of 63, Johnny U. So it is first and 10 from the Jet 13-yard line. Let's look for Raymond Berry here. On a short hit. Throws the Berry incomplete. Led Berry a little too much on that hitch. Threw it a little too soon. So second and 10. And a field goal from this close distance is only a 43% chance that Myra will make it. Again, split backfield, Unitas under center. Amici and Dupree in the backfield. Barry and Moore the wideouts. Muchler the tight end. Let's see what Muchler can do here. Short slant to the tight end, Jim Muchler. Unitas takes off running. As he felt the pressure, brought down by Philbin. McAdams was shaken up on the play. He's slow getting up. His return is probable as he goes off the field. Brings up third and eight. 46% chance of making the field goal. So third and eight. Lenny Moore. Let's go short and quick. Short and quick to Barry. Back to pass United. He fires to Barry. And he drops the ball. Raymond Barry, the man with the great hands, drops the ball. And fourth and eight from the Jet 11. Here comes the field goal team. And this is not a sure thing. It's only 46%. Steve Myra comes out. He's the kicker. Straight ahead kicker in 1958. The holder is Dupree. Myra sets up. Here's the snap. The place. The straight-ahead kick. It's blocked! And returned for a touchdown! No, it's just blocked. Oh, I thought from the video it was blocked. So recovered by Elliott. Blocked by Sample. So Sample blocks the field goal. It looked like he went all the way, but that was false video. As they called him down. So, the Colts' scoring opportunity goes by the wayside. Sample blocks the Myra field goal. Joe Willie Namath and the Jets will take over first and 10 on their 21. With 10.03 to play in the first quarter. Medium slant, sour. Name it back to pass, looking for Sowery Fires, and it is complete gain of 24. On the tackle for the 1958 Colts is Tassif, and that's George Sowery's first reception for 24 yards. John E. U. looks on from the sideline. As Joe Namath breaks the huddle, Jets come up to the line. Maynard to the top of the screen, Sauer to the bottom. Lamans tight to the line to the top, split backfield, Snell and Boozer. Dive to Snell. And Snell right up the gut, breaks a couple of tackles, gain of six. Brought down by Samansky. Dick Samansky's first tackle of the game. The Jets fans here at Shea are loving it. Brings up second and four for Joe Willie and the Jets. Emerson Boozer. Trap right to Boozer. Boozer close to that first down gain of. Uh, 
Oh, stream's coming back up. Hold on, hold on. You gotta love my Comcast connection. Bear with me a moment, folks. Technical difficulties. It would figure. We have a fun game going. And... We're back up. Alrighty, so third and one from the Baltimore 46, technical difficulties. That happens with live YouTubing. Jets will go to an I formation. Boozer the up back. Two out of ten run blocker. Snell behind him. Play action pass. They're going to look for Lamans, the tight end. On the short slant, there's a play action pass. Namath. Oh, he just missed Lamans. Oh, off. Just led Pete Lamans a little too much. He could have been off to the races. So, fourth and one ball on the Baltimore 46. The Jets' offense will stay out on the field. Dive, Snell. Yes, fourth and one. The ball's given to Snell, and up the middle, he struggles! And he just comes up short! Don Joyce stands him up just inches short of the first down. The Jets turn it over on downs. So it'll be first and ten on the Baltimore 45. Here comes Johnny Unitas, and let's say hello to ID Gesture in the chat. Remember to check out ID Gesture, a wonderful YouTubing channel. Just like What's Blazing in Sports, two marvelous channels that I subscribe to and so should you. ID Gesture, Retro Sports Game, Military Strategy Games, Building Games, Role Playing Games, you name it, it's on his channel. So here comes Johnny Unitas. They're going to go run counter. They're going to give the ball to Dupree. And off tackle right. To LG Dupree. Dupree finds a little running room. Gain of four. Brought down by Rochester. Almost at midfield. The ball's at the 49 of the Colts. Second and six. 7.19 to play. Clock running in this first quarter. Colts' field goal opportunity on their first drive was blocked by Sample. Johnny Sample there blocked the field goal. So, second and six. Screen to Amici. They set it up, and he cannot hit Amici. Unitas was under tre tremendous pressure. Rochester provided that pressure for the Jets. So, it's third and six. Unitas and the Colts break the huddle. 1958 Colts looking to pick it up here. 6.32 to play. First quarter, no score. Going to go to Raymond Berry here. Let's check out Berry. Short cross to Raymond Berry. United's back to pass. He fires. Complete gain of 13 to Berry. He doesn't drop this one. Brought down by Bill Baird. So first and 10 on the Jets' 38. The Colts are in business once again. Give the ball to Alan Amici here. And sweep left with Alan Amici. There goes Alan Amici. First down and more. And they finally drag down the horse after an 18-yard gain. Brought down by Al Atkinson from behind. Alan Amici on the sweep. Excellent blocking up front by Art Spiney. Brings up first and 10 from the Jet 20. Look for Lenny Moore here. Medium cross to Lenny Moore. United's back to pass. Looking, looking. Fires touchdown in the end zone to Lenny Moore. The booze come raining down here at Shea. The Jets fans not happy with that. United throws a strike to Lenny Moore over the middle. 6 0. The 1958 Baltimore Colts. Johnny U. Let's watch that replay. The calm Johnny Unitas. Back to pass. Boom! Lenny Moore. Number 24. Touchdown. One more time. Unitas. Excellent pass there to Moore. 
Here comes Myra for the extra point. The snap to place, and did he make it? Yes, he did. It just sneaks over. The crossbar, 7 nothing Baltimore. So after the Jets are denied on fourth and short, just over midfield, the Colts, five plays, 55 yards, 20, uh, touchdown pass to Lenny Moore, took 240. 7 nothing Baltimore. Here come the 68 Jets now. Here's the kickoff. Christie's deep for the Jets, a short man of Turner and Snell. How will Joe Willie Namath answer? Here comes a return. This might be the answer. He could get on the line. Finally dragged down from behind. Earl Christie goes 84 yards. Had one more man to beat. Shinnick. And he couldn't do it. But what a return by Earl Christie. As in the chat, ID Justice says, wow, what an ending to that Viking game. Unbelievable. It was. All those guys had to do was tackle that guy. I don't know how they don't know that. It was incredible. And you know what? It's funny because back in, I think, 75, the Vikings lose a game on the Hail Mary to the Cowboys. And it took all these years, and they got a Hail Mary to win a playoff game. So here comes Joe Willie Namath, split backfield to Snell and Boozer. Wideouts, Sauer and Maynard, tight end, Lamans. Play action fake. Maynard. Short slant to Don Maynard. And he dumps it to Matt Snell, touchdown! So Maynard was covered. Namath quickly went through his progressions, dumped it to Snell, who jogs in for the touchdown. The Jets are an extra point away from Jim Turn by Jim Turner of tying this game at seven. Let's take a look at that. How Joe Willie Namath, very cool in the pocket. Uh, Maynard was covered, and he just dumped it down to Matt Snell. Look at this. Looking for Maynard. Covered. Bam! Hit Snell. 41. Touchdown. One more time. Look at Joe Willie Namath. Broadway Joe. Calm as a cucumber. Hit Snell for the touchdown. Here comes Turner for the extra point. The snap, the place, and oh, it barely sneaks in, but it's good. We have a 7-7 ball game with 425 to play in the first quarter here at Shea Stadium between the 1958 Baltimore Colts and the 1968 New York Jets. As I.D. Jester says, uh, I was sort of saying the same thing in the chat. He says, but the Vikings needed something like that to happen for all the bad luck they have had in the playoffs through the years. And it started with the Hail Mary against the Cowboys in the 70s. And no offense if you're a Cowboy fan, I believe it was Drew Pearson. He did push off. Uh, that should have been offensive pass interference. Go back and watch the film. <laughs> it's on YouTube. You can see it. But they didn't call it. So... And that's another reason why they came up with the prevent defense. <laughs> All right, here's the kickoff by Turner deep for the Baltimore Colts of 1958. Lyles, the short men are Pricer and Moore. Here's the kickoff by Turner, six yards deep. Lyles will down it. So Johnny Unitas, in a 7-7 game, will bring the Colts offense out onto the field. And they'll start first and 10 at the 20. Again, split backfield, Amici and Dupree, wide outs, Moore, and, excuse me, Barry, tight end, Mutchler. We're going to look for Mutchler on the short cross. United's back to pass. Oh, he just misconnected as United's felt tremendous pr pressure right up the middle in his face. He had to release just a little too soon. And... Led Mutzler a little too much. So it's second and 10 from the Baltimore 20. Alan Amici. Power sweep left. There comes Amici. Amici has a hole. And he gained seven yards. That's tackle number two for the Jets, Al Atkinson. 
And it brings up a very manageable third and three. Clock running, 4-11 to play in the first quarter. I.D. Jester says about the Hail Mary, I believe, when the Cowboys defeated the Vikings in the playoffs in Minnesota. He said, it's only a penalty if they call it. That's very true, my friend. And also, I remember that on that play, someone threw a bottle from the stands and hit the ref in the head with it. Well, he shouldn't throw anything from the stands. It still was pass interference offensive. It looks, that's what it looked like to me. So Jim Parker, uh, good blocking there up front by big Jim Parker for the Colts, leading Alan Amici to a seven-yard gain. Third and three. Let's go play action, fake, run counter. Dupree. Pitch left. There's the pitch to Dupree, and he cannot gain the corner. He is brought down for no gain by Jerry Philbin. That's Philbin's third tackle. So fourth and three, and the Colts will have to punt with 3.29 to play in the first quarter. Out comes the punt team. Ray Brown will punt back for the Jets are Baird. And Christie, he'll punt deep. Here's the punt. Jets come up to field it and quickly nailed. On a return of one and the big pop is put on by on Baird by Pellington. So the Jets will start first and 10 on their 35. Lucky thing Baird held on to that ball as he was hit quickly. Back to the chat quickly. Uh, regarding... Uh, Minnesota Hail Mary with the Cowboys in the mid 70s. I.D. Jesters had said, you know, a ref got hit in the head with a water bottle. And he says, that is why the play never got looked at and why no interference got called. I, you know what? Turnabout's fair play then. That's the way I look at it. You shouldn't throw stuff out of the stands. But if you do watch it, if you've never seen it, watch it on YouTube. It does look like, um, Drew Pearson pushes the uh, defensive back who looks like he's right about to make the pick. And I think it's uh, Kraus, the safety for the Vikings, comes over and he's screaming pass interference as he's pointing. He pushed off. So, all right, here's Namath. Back under center, split backfield, Snell and Boozer. Wideouts, Maynard and Sauer, tight end, Lamans. Dive, Snell. There goes Snell up the gut. He's got some running room. Breaks two tackles. Gain a seven. Finally dragged down by Ray Brown. That's Ray Brown's first tackle. Clock running. 237 to play in the first quarter. 7-7 seven, seven ball game between the 58, the 1958 Colts, 10-year younger Johnny Unitas, and the 1968 Jets led by Hollywood Joe Namath. So second and three. Play action fake. Namath is going to go over the top. He's looking for Maynard deep. Oh, here comes the blitz. They pick it up. No! And now Namath is brought down. He has his bell rung. Loss of eight. And he's going off the field. Here comes Babe Pirelli, former Patriot quarterback. Babe Pirelli in 1963 led the Boston Patriots to the AFL championship game where they were promptly crushed by the San Diego Chargers. Babe Pirelli actually just passed away late uh, a few months back in 2017. So a third and 11, Pirelli's on the field, giving some smelling salt to Joe Namath. As Don Joyce put the huge hit on him, they were trying to go deep to Maynard. So third and 11, screen. To Boozer. Ah, Snell. I clicked on the wrong button. And what happened there? Heavy rush. Pirelli dropped the ball, picked it up, and Snell right through his hands. So on fourth and 11, here comes the Jet Punt team. 7 7 ball game, minute 31 left in the first quarter. It's been a hard hitting, exciting game so far. Curly Johnson out to punt for the Jets. Tassif and Long back. 
And it looks like it's going to be Tassif who's back. Johnson will punt deep. Here comes the return by Tassif. Tassif, a little running room, and it's quickly swallowed up. As Beverly brought him down after only a four-yard gain, 53-yard punt by Johnson. So a minute 21 left in the first quarter 7-7 ball game here at Shea. Johnny Unitas and the Colt offense will start first and 10 on their 17. When you go to uh, Dupree, pitch left to Dupree. Can he get Oh, he, that play is blown up in the backfield. Loss of three. There you just have to give up on that pitch left. Second time, Jerry Philbin's destroyed that play. That's his fourth tackle for the Jets. Jets were in a 4-3 pass short zone. So second and 13 here. Draw to Amici. Punt. And there goes Amici. He's got a lot of running room. Gain of seven. Brings up 30 and six. And that will end the first quarter. So we'll start the second quarter. 7-7 ball game between the 1958 Colts and 1968 Jets. We'll just give you the scoring real quick. After missing a field goal, or getting a field goal blocked, uh, Colt field goal by uh, Myra was blocked by Sample. They would come back and score a touchdown. 20-yard pass from John Unitas to Lenny Moore. Myra extra point. That was a made it 7-0. The Jets would tie it up. After a long kickoff return, the next play, Namath, 11-yard pass to Snell. He was looking for Maynard. Maynard was covered. He dumped it to Snell. He ran it in. 7-7 ball game as we start the second quarter here at Shea. Third and six from the Baltimore 21. Let's look for Raymond Berry. Short cross to Berry. United's back to pass. And that ball is knocked right back into Unitas' face by Rochester. And it brings up fourth and six. And here comes the Colt punt team. So both defenses have bear down now. Ray Brown comes out to punt. He's going to punt deep. Here comes the return. And again, big hits on the special team by the Colts. 50-yard punt, only a 3-yard gain, and a big hit by Plunkett. Baird getting up slowly. So here comes Joe Willie Namath and the Jets' offense. 14-45 to play in the first half. 7-7 ball game. Trap left. I don't like the trap left. Trap right. I like that better. Boozer. They're going to give the ball to Boozer. And Boozer is smothered for no game. Big Gino Marchetti brings him down. That's the first time we've called Marchetti's name. That's his first tackle. Brings up second and ten. Namath and the Jets break the huddle up to the line of scrimmage. Snell. Let's try a pitch right with Matt Snell. There's the pitch. Can Snell gain the corner? He does. He's got running room. First down. Gain of 12, brought down from behind by number 55, Leo Sanford. That's his second tackle. Snell now five carries, 28 yards. He also has a receiving touchdown. Let's go Snell again. Let's go the other way. Pitch left. Pitch left to Snell. And this time he does not gain the corner. Nothing there. Spun down by Don Joyce. That's Don Joyce's third tackle. So no gain. Second and 10 from the Jets, 44. Jets will now go to an I formation. They're going to look for their tight end, Pete Lamans. Short slant to Lamans. Name it back to pass over the middle, and they can't connect up. Nelson jumped the rock. The route and swatted the ball away. Brings up third and ten. Let's 
We'll go split backfield. Short to the flat. To Boozer. Name it back to pass. Looking for Boozer in the flat. And he has it. Oh, a big hit after the first down. There's a fumble. And who recovers it? The Jets recover it. It looked like the Colts had it. There was a pile up and coming away with the ball is Sauer. What a play by the whiteout. Emerson picked up the first down and then got KO'd on the hit. Nelson nailed him. There was a scrum. And George Sauer comes away with the ball for the Jets. The Jets maintain possession and get the first down. First and ten. The hard hits continue here at Shea. And has nothing to do with a baseball and a bat. Emerson will come out for a play. Mathis will come in. Bill Mathis. Mathis will go pitch right with Mathis. Can Mathis gain the corner? He does! Close to a first down, and he just gets it. He struggles for that extra yard. So Mathis comes in on the pitch right, picks up 10. First and 10 from the Baltimore 32. Just giving Emerson a little breather. That was a big hit he took when he put the ball on the ground. Snell will come out for Joe, Billy Joe. And we're going to go dive play to Billy Joe. He gets the ball up the gut. He goes. He struggles for two yards. Don Joyce brings him down. That's his fourth tackle. The Colts were in a 4-3 basic run. Starting backfield getting a breather here. Second and eight. Look for Mathis. Another. Let's see what we can do here. Play action pass. Looking for Sauer. On the short out. Play action. Looking for Sauer on the out. He fires. It's complete. First down. Gain of 14. Forced out of bounds by Davis. Milt Davis is credited with his first tackle. They were keying Billy Joe. And that's George Sauer's second reception for 30 yards. Namath and the Jets are clicking. So far on this drive, eight plays, 52 yards. It's chewed up 4.49 of clock. And coming back in is Matt Snell and Emerson Boozer. Short to the flat. To Boozer once again, Namath. And this time they can't hook up. As Pellington was shadowing Boozer. Didn't fool anyone that play. Joe 5 of 10 for 83 yards and a touchdown to Matt Snell. Field goal here by Turner. 62% chance of success. 7-7 ball game. 9-13 to play in the half. The 58 Colts looking to keep the Jets out of the end zone. Trap left. Snell. There goes Snell on the trap left. He's got some running room. Breaks two tackles. Gain a 12. First down. Finally brought down by Milt Davis. Snell, a wrecking ball there. Yeah, I the, the uh, I keep getting the red streamline, which I don't understand, which is really annoying me. So bear with me. We're having a little Comcast internet connection problems. Hopefully it goes back to green soon. So it's first and goal from the Baltimore 4. Jets will go I formation. Actually, let me see if I have a better blocking back. Run block 2, run block 2. Mathis, run block 2. Short seven. Boozer short five. So Mathis will come in 
Bill Mathis will come in for Emerson Boozer. He'll be the up back. And we're going to give the ball to Mathis as he's a 7 out of 10 short runner. Dive play Mathis. And he is stuck. No gain. Pellington just pancakes him into the ground here at Shea. Brings up second and goal. Clock running 8-13 to go before the half. 7-7 seven, seven ball game. has been a hard hitter. A uh, slobber knocker, as I like to say. Again, I formation. Mathis, the up back. Snell behind him. Let's go Matt Snell. Off tackle. Left to Snell. And Snell breaks the tackle, and he's in the end zone. Good, tough running by Matt Snell. He now has a rushing touchdown to go along with his receiving touchdown. ID Gesture asks, are you running the Jets only? No, I'm running both offenses. And the computer is running the defenses. So let's watch that replay over. As there's Matt Snell off tackle left. Broke a couple of tackles one more time. Good blocking up front. Bam, right there. Two tackles and into the end zone. He broke two tackles. 13-7. to seven. Jim Turner out for the extra point. The snap, the place, the extra point. Down the pike in the middle. The Jets take a 14-7 to seven lead over the 1958 Colts. Can Johnny Unitas answer that? 7-13 to play in the first half. Turner will kick off deep for the 58 Colts. Lyles, Shortman, Pricer, and more. Here's the kickoff. Return is put on. It's a short kick, and it should be a good return here. Oh, the ball is fumbled! And Amici recovers it for the Colts. Saving Lyles, a big hit put on by Christie. So both teams have survived fumbles. And here comes John Unitas with 725 left in the first half, trailing by seven. Amici and Dupree in the split backfield. Unitas under center. Barry and Moore, the wideouts. Mutchler, the tight end. Lenny Moore, medium cross. And Unitas fires incomplete. Sample redirected it. Good coverage by Sample. Johnny Sample with a deflection. He's also blocked a, a field goal. On the Colts' first drive. So, second and ten. We're going to go to Alan Amici. And we're going to go pitch right to the horse. There's the pitch to Amici. And he cannot turn the corner. Brought down by Baker. Ralph Baker didn't give an inch. So, third and ten here. We're going to look for Raymond Barry on the third and ten. Short hitch to Barry. Oh! Samples jumps in front, knocks it down. Johnny Samples, second deflection. It's fourth and ten. The Colts will be forced to punt. The 1968 Jets have a seven-point lead. They lead the 58 Colts 14-7. to 6.31 to play in the half. As we've challenged Johnny Sample, and the Sample has won. It's an even matchup there. They're both eights. Beverly's a seven, and Moore is a seven. Oh, Beverly's a six, excuse me. So here comes the Colt punt team. That means Ray Brown's back on the field. He's going to punt deep. The snap, the punt. Here comes the return by the Jets. And again! Great special team by the Colts. Three-yard gain quickly brought down by Call. So Joe Namath with 627 point lead will start off first and 10 from their 11. Let's take Mathis out and bring Emerson Boozer back in. So Snell and Boozer split backfield, Namath under center, Maynard and Sauer the wideouts, Lamans the tight end. And let's go sweep right. As the stream has come back up. Huh, it's ridiculous. It really is. And restart it. 
We'll call this part one. Let's see if we can get this going again here. All right, we're back up again. It's ridiculous. All right, let's continue on with the game. I apologize, I can't control the internet connection. All right, 30 and 6. Namath is going to look to Snell in the flat. He throws to Matt Snell in the flat. Incomplete. So that's going to bring up 30 and 6. Talamini for the Jets is shaken up on the play. Slowly getting up, going off the field. He's out for about a play. Here comes the punt team on the fourth and six. So that brings Curly Johnson back out onto the field. He's going to punt deep. The snap. And the punt. Colts should have good field position. A couple of broke tackles. A 10-yard return by Tassif. Brought down by Beverly. So Johnny Unitas and the Colts will start. First and 10 on the Jets' side of the field at their 44. And the stream quality continues to really annoy me. All right, so here comes Johnny Unitas looking to tie it up here. It's going to go to Alan Amici. Sweep left with Alan Amici. Three tough yards brought down by Jerry Philbin. That's Philbin's fifth tackle. So, second and seven, clock running, 4.36 to play. The Colts trail by seven. Going to go to Dupree here. Off tackle right, LG Dupree. And Dupree is smothered after a gain of one. Hard hit by Ralph Baker. So, it's third and six. From the Jet 40. We're going to look for Lenny Moore. On the short hitch. And complete gain of 12. Sample brings him down. Lenny Moore's third reception for 95 yards and a touchdown so far. So first and 10, 305 to play before the half. The Colts looking to tie it up here. And I think at the half, what I'm going to do is stop the stream and restart the stream. Because we've had horrible connection. It's green now, and it goes to red as soon as I say that. So first and ten from the Jets' 28. Uh, Michi on the dive. Now on the horse, Michi up the middle, and nothing there. Jerry Philbin with his sixth tackle. Michi now has eight carries for 40 yards. Clock running and we'll no play. We'll let it run down to the two-minute warning. So second and ten, two minutes to go in the ball game. The 1968 New York Jets 14, led by Joe Willie Namath, Broadway Joe. The 1958 Baltimore Colts, led by Johnny Unitas, the man with the crew cut and the high top cleats. Seven. Colts threatening. Second and ten. Ball in the Jets. 28. We're going to look for Raymond Barry on the medium out. Nice back to pass. He has time. He fires to the out. And Sample jumps the route once again and knocks it down. He is covering Raymond Barry like a glove. So third and 10. Mutchler. Let's look to see what our tight end can do. Short slant to Mutchler. And it's, oh, off his fingertips, coverage by Baird. So fourth and ten on the Jets' 28, and they're not even in field goal range because Myra is a lineman, straight-ahead kicker. They're going to go for it on fourth and ten. What else can they do? They trail by seven, 145 to play in the half. Uh, let's go Lenny Moore. Let's go screen to Moore. They're going to go screen to Lenny Moore. Yes, we want to go for it on fourth. Screen pass to Moore. It's caught, but he is nailed by Baker. A loss of one turnover on downs. And that's where you don't, when you don't have a good field goal kicker, they basically had to go for it. There's nothing to do there. So here comes Joe Namath and the Jets offense with 135 to play in a seven-point lead before the half. 14-7 to seven Jets.
Dive play to Matt Snell. No gain. Szymanski brings him down. Clock running. Short out. Sour. Name is back to pass. Looking for the out. He fires. Incomplete. Broken up by Andy Nelson. So it brings up third and ten. Clock stops with a minute to go in the half. Jets up by seven here at Shea. And we're going to look. We're going to go a combo pass here. Maynard, uh, Maynard medium. And we're going to go sour medium. Le Mans short. And Boozer short. We're going to hit OK. Name it back to pass. He has time. He fires. Maynard dives just out of his reach. Incomplete. Fourth and ten. 49 seconds left before the half. And the Jets will be forced to punt. Here comes Curly Johnson. He'll punt deep to uh, Tassif of the Colts. Here's Tassif coming up, coming up. Makes the catch. And he's got room. He's got an angle. That's a gain of 18. And Beard finally brings him down. That's a punt of 41. The Colts will start first and 10 on their own 48. They have 40 seconds and all three timeouts. And Johnny Unitas under center. Short out to Raymond Berry. Unitas back to pass. Looking, he fires the Berry. Complete gain of 11. Clock running. Unitas will use his first timeout. 32 seconds left. First and 10 on the Jets, 41. United is trying to orchestrate a game-tying drive here before the half. We're going to look for Lenny Moore now. Short out to Lenny Moore on the other side. Johnny Unitas feels the pressure, steps in the pocket, and he will be sacked for a two-yard loss. Paul Rochester on the sack. Unitas calls his second timeout. 28 seconds left. The 1968 Jets, 14. The 1958 Colts, 7 here at Shea Stadium. Alan Amici on the screen. Unitas back to pass. They dump it to Amici. They can't connect up. And it is 4th and 12, 19 seconds. Ball in the Jet, 43. If we punt... Hmm. Third, oh, it's only 3rd and 12. Jeez, my fault. We had the first down, I forgot. So it's 3rd and 12. We're not punting on 3rd down. 19 seconds. Let's look to see what Mutchler can do. Short cross to the tight end, Jim Mutchler. United is back to pass. Here comes the blitz. They pick it up. He dumps it short to Dupree. Gain of 10. It's 4th and 2. United quickly calls his last time out. 10 seconds left. Well out of field goal range for Myra. Again, lineman, straight ahead kicker. He, he, he missed. He had a one block by sample. You would probably, for Myra to kick a good field goal, you probably got to get down to the 10. So 10 seconds left. And we're going to go long out to Barry. We're going to challenge sample again. United is looking, looking, he fires the Barry touchdown! What a throw! No time left on the clock. United hits Barry on the long out. He finally burns Sample. The Colts are an extra point away from tying it up at the half. Wow! Let's watch that replay. Johnny United is cool as a cucumber in that pocket. Bam! Hits. Barry to the out. Barry turned it up and went into the end zone. 4-6. One more time. John Unitas fades back to pass. They pick up the blitz. The out to Barry. Touchdown. And here comes Myra for the extra point. 
to snap the place, and Myra puts it through. We have a 14-14 ball game. And the stream is going good. But you know what? We're going to end this here. And we're, this will be the first half. And we'll come back with the second half in a moment. So Al Red Sox fan saying thank you very much for watching. I'll be back with the second half. I want to say thank you to ID Gesture. Check out his channel. And also, What's Blazing in Sports. Check out his channel. ID Gesture. Sports, retro sports play, strategy games, RPG games. And What's Blazing in Sports. Boxing. Great boxing chat. And PB4 Gaming has jumped in the chat. And check out his channel. He's a fine young man. Uh, PB4 Gaming. This is just finished the Saints versus the Vikes game. Man, it seemed the NFL wants Minnesota to go all the way, but we can't take them all on. But we can take them all on. Go Pats. And he says, uh, Al, just stop by to say hey and hi and have a good night and God bless. Well, thank you very much, my friend. God bless to you too. Hope all is well with you and Happy New Year. All right, we're going to come back for the second half. In about five minutes. Thank you very much for watching. This is Al Red Sox fan saying health, happiness. I'll be back shortly for the second half. It's 14-14. Come back. It's a thriller. Peace.